other page. Uh, I can start now? Okay. Oh, yeah. Cyan and red. The two colors which are representative of Chinese traditional culture. Red for our humble Chinese blood, and cyan, well, for the humble mountains that we draw, the majestic mountains actually, which are really representative of our culture as well. In both ways, mountains grow slowly and our culture does too. And um, we deposit that culture little by little into the majestic mountains that are, well, the Chinese culture that we see today. But as coined by Fei Xiaotong, the term um, earthbound China, our culture is earthbound in such a way which is very unique. We are experience-based, which means we do not have many ways of experimentalism. And this has really bound us down a little bit. For example, in traditional Chinese art, it stagnated during the century. But in the last century, many artists, with their combined efforts, uh, innovated the art and made masterpieces. How did they do that? I mean, I'll tell you right now. First, they went from conservatism to radicalism. Conservatism as a means of negating really Western art, thinking of it as an invasion of some sorts. But then, well, when we stepped into radicalism, the Chinese denied Western art and thought it to be, well, uh, the, they accepted Western art and it negated traditional Chinese art, thinking it was just uh, not great and wanted to abolish it completely. But then, when they merged together and finally combined into one, did they realize that Chinese culture is uh, pretty great? It's great stuff. And um, they not only replicated and used the ways of drawing, but also the inner cores, the spirituality of Chinese traditional art and made masterpieces in that way. And I do think that a similar thing is happening in Chinese traditional medicine as well. Because we've long stepped past the um, conservative and radical parts of our development. And what now I think that we do now need, and also what I see a lot of people are doing right now, is combining modern scientific efforts with the recipes that we all know and love, and we know that they work. They are experience-based but not a lot have rigorous proofs and also rigorous investigations. When combining the two, I do think that we will get marvelous effects. Well, really, uh, what I think now is that innovation will help our culture develop, but stagnation will lead to its demise. And uh, only in this way will be, we be able to transcend both the Western culture and Chinese culture and make it into something newer, new Chinese culture. And I do hope that our names will be written in the history books, in red and cyan. Thank you. Oh, I can't hear you now. I'm sorry, I have a question for you. How have colors been used in traditional Chinese painting to represent nature? Uh, seasons and the different elements. Uh, sorry, can you repeat your question? I didn't hear the last part. Uh, how have colors been used in traditional Chinese painting to represent nature and the different elements? Oh, okay. Okay. Right, uh, and the cyan, the greenish blue color, has always been used to draw rocks and birds and all of the kind. And with the variety between red and cyan, we can actually mix them quite a bit and derive many colors. And using in this uh, in effect, we can actually draw nature and humans and everything of the sorts. I do believe that uh, the two colors in contrast is very marvelous indeed and uh, they make good pairs. Uh, I remember a lot of paintings where the red element is missing most of the time is and only used for emphasis, while most of the part, usually uh, a lot of uh, lakes, rivers, and also mountains are drawn in mostly cyan, but also with uh, tints of gray in order to have a unique harmonious way of drawing. There's also such instances where a large piece of the canvas is left blank, and for obvious reasons, we do enjoy the scenery and the thought of really the emptiness and also how it interacts with the painting. 
And like I mentioned in my speech earlier, the red, our humble red blood, is apparent in there as well. Humble in ways how the sun comes up every day and um, is red. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye. Right. I'll hang up now, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Bye-bye.